So just remember, ladies and gentlemen, um, when we add fractions, we have to make sure we have the common denominator. Adding fractions, common denominator, add, add the numerators. Subtracting is the exact same. You've got to make sure you have common denominators. Once you have common denominators, um, then you can just apply the operation or subtract um, in the numerator. When we multiply, we multiply directly across. But when we divide, what we're going to do is we're going to convert this to a multiplication problem. So to do that first, though, just go over that way, please. To do that first, what we're going to have to do is rewrite this as an improper fraction. So again, to do that, we take our denominator, multiply it by our whole, and then add it to our numerator. All right, so what I have is 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. So now I can rewrite this as 5 eighths divided by 11 over 3. Now, just like you guys have done before, um, well, we haven't really talked so much about it, but when dividing, it's really the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So to multiply, all I'm simply going to do is flip my divisor, which would be 3 over 11, and then apply the operation of multiplying, which would be multiply across. 5 times 3 is 15. 8 times 11 is 88. Then always make sure you see if you can uh, divide a number out, which in this case, common, uh, common uh, factors or factors of 15 would be 3, 5, um, 15, and none of those go into 88, so that would be my simplified answer. Okay. Hold on. Um, Tristan, did you have another one, or is that it?